Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, Christ in you. Jesus in you. Guys, we're living a... Those of you who've been a believer, who have been believers, not just individually, we ought to be believers collectively. Our differences need to be set aside on that cross. We need to be willing to confess our sins one to another. We need to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Jesus. Guys, do you understand Jesus Christ lives inside you? Um, Ephesians uh, chapter, I want to say three, that sadly the Christian church does not, it's not an indictment, but it's sadly we, we Christians are living defeated lives and we ought not to. Um, and I love what he said that for this reason I kneel before the Father from whom every, Ephesians 3.14, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. I pray that he may grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I take that back. Um, oh, verse 10. Uh, verse 8. This grace was given to me. The grace uh, of God's working power and being a servant of, of his gospel. To proclaim to the Gentiles, that's everybody who is out of covenant, the incalculable riches of the Messiah and to shed light for all about the administration of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things. That, that mystery is Jesus Christ living inside you. That is the strength, not you. A Christian is dead. Galatians 2.20. If you gave your life to Jesus, you're crucified with him. You need to submit to that. All our angst, anxieties, whatnot, come from the fact that we're just not submitted to the fact that our flesh is dead and Jesus wants to have full control of our lives. And we are hindering him from doing that because of our own refusal. He says, uh, this is so God's multifaceted wisdom, verse 10, may now be made known through the church to the rulers and authorities in the heavens. Okay? I'm speaking to you believers Leaders in church, y'all need to seek the Lord. And this, I'm, I, this is not condemnation. This is uh, these are gems that all the riches we have in Jesus Christ. This is not license. This is should bring you rest. That you are free from having to muscle it, pull yourself up by a bootstrap. It's already done on the cross. Every act of flesh of trying harder, praying harder, doing faster, better, stronger, whatever. That's done. The work of Christ, if you just behold him and just be still, let him move you from the inside. There's a sad understanding that we are body and soul. No, we are body, soul, and spirit. The soul is your emotions, your mind, your will. Your spirit is that part of you that gives you life. That's the part of you inside where you're like, ah, I got a, uh, something ain't right. Like that feeling with right and wrong, that intuition. We all have some measure of it. Uh, you look, you know, Hebrew in the Old Testament, they always talked about the spirit moving them or Jesus being moved with compassion even. Folks, get together with one another. Pray for one another. Be open of your failures, your struggles, but also be open of successes. Be willing to rebuke one another in love and be willing to receive whatever rebuke. Jesus wants us to be in fellowship in the light. That's First John. Guys, wake up. Please. Get with one another and pray. And believe as if you received it. I'm not talking about physical things. This earth, this world is going to burn. But the heavenly things, the eternal things, revival, restoration, our family members, our lost family members coming to knowledge of Jesus, missionaries to be sent out from this country once again, that we'd be able to go into locked,
prison doors and preach the gospel one more time. That's what we need to pray for. And we need to actually obey and do. Jesus, I've delivered my soul. Bless those who hear. Show them, open their eyes of their heart to see that you live in them and, and bring them to a fellowship where they can unite and rejoice one with, with another. In Jesus' name, that we may all be a special forces unit of your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you guys. Have a wonderful weekend.